Welcome to our few moments together on the Parsha. This Shabbos, of course, we have the privilege of reading Parsha's Toldos. The major focus of the Parsha of Toldos, of course, is the birth of Yaakov and Esau, as the first Pasuk says, Ve'ela Toldos Yitzchok ben Avraham. And Rashi says this refers to Yaakov the Esau of Amurim Parsha. And so the focus is going to be on the differences between them. And of course, at the end of the Sedja, the taking of the bracha, of the giving of the bracha to Yaakov, of the Yitin Lecho HaElokim, Mital HaShemayim Umishmani HaOretz, and the ultimate flight of Yaakov to try to save his life as per his mother's instructions. I'd like to focus on something in the middle of the Sedja. In the middle of the Sedja, we find that Yitzchak and Rivka required to leave the land of Eretz Yisrael, not completely because they don't go to Egypt, but they go to the land of the Philistines because of the famine. And Yitzchak is extremely successful when he is there in the land of the Philistines, of the lands of the Plishtim. The fact remains that he was so successful that he founded Meya She'orim, which means a hundred times as much. He would plant one seed and he would gather in a hundredfold from that seed. The Psukim the sentences when it speaks about his wealth say the following Vayehilo Mikne Son Umikne Bokar, and he had flocks of sheep and flocks of cattle, Vaavuda Rabba, and much enterprise, as the art scroll translates it, or as Rashi says, Paulo Rabba. A lot of work. A lot of work went in to Yitzchak's being so successful in planting, and with Hashem's help, producing even a hundredfold. The Pasuk continues, after it says that he had flocks of sheep and flocks of cattle and much enterprise, Vayikanu oso plishtim. The plishtim were jealous of him. Now, on a simple level, there's no question that jealousy is generated against the Jewish people on a regular basis, for one reason or another whatever it is, and most of the time it's totally unfounded, of course, except that the jealousy usually has something much more to do with any kind of wealth we possess, for after all, we are not the wealthiest people in the world. Rather, it's something else. And if we pay close attention to the words of this Pasuk, according to the commentaries that are mentioned on this particular Pasuk, Specifically, the commentary of the Emes Lyakov, he says an interesting thing. He translates the word va'avudah rabba not to mean a lot of wealth of enterprise. Not at all. If you'll take a look at the Targum, the Targum says upulchana rabba, a lot of service. In fact, it's a hint to the fact that Yitzchak not only had a lot of physical wealth, but that he also was an Oved Hashem. He had a lot of Avodas Hashem attached to him. This was something that the Plistim couldn't tolerate. We can understand that there's a drive to accomplish wealth in the world. And we can understand that there are some people who focus totally on the achievements of the Spirit but that the Jewish people should synthesize the both of them. And they should not only have Mikne Son and Mikne Bokar, but in addition to all their wealth, the Avuda Rabba, they had a lot of service to Hashem. They were able to synthesize the physical and the spiritual natures of humanity and, and show the world it's possible to live in this world have a pleasant, uplifting life of physical wealth and gashmius, physical wealth, while at the same time be close to Hashem, be an Eved Hashem, the Avudah Rabba. That's something the Plishtim were jealous of. We wish we could have had those things. We wish we could find that happy medium where we combine all of the fa- of all the things that the world has to offer, all the benefits that are on this earth, in addition 
to the lofty, soulful existence that is the life of the Jew. This is something by Yekanu Oso Plishtim. You know, maybe that's why the world really is jealous of the Jewish people. Because we have this soulful existence in addition to having a life that's down here on earth. We don't deny it. We participate in all facets of life while still being totally loyal and lifting ourselves up through our worship and service to Hashem. We have Avuda Rabbah, a lot of good service. As the Gemara at the beginning of Tana says, Ezohi Avoda Shehi Balev, when it says in the Pasuk, Ula Avdo Bechol Avchem, says the Gemara, Heve Omer Zutfila. We have a connection with God through, through prayer. And in addition to all the wealth that we have, we have Avuda Rabbah. What a great idea in the middle of Pashas Toldos. Chodesh Tov of the month of Kislev, close to Hashem, especially when it comes to the Yom Tov of Hanukkah, which is in this month. Have a wonderful Shabbos.